the inflation we're seeing in the silver market is what people actually have to pay for. In the physical market, uh, I don't think the prices are gonna retreat at all. Inflation's everywhere, except here. Why aren't we seeing inflated prices with silver and gold? It's crazy. I, I got an email from one of my members saying, have you checked out the cost of meat? She works in cybersecurity and said that she hoped people were preparing, that every event has a cascading impact. She was shopping this morning and saw that the price of things were changing dramatically. $50 for stew meat. Nothing fancy, she said, just plain old beef. An ounce of silver to feed your family dinner. I think that's so astute of her. And I think we all need to pay very close attention to what is happening with inflation. I get emails all the time from people saying, Yankee, when, when, when is silver going to go ballistic? When? When is it going to break that $30 mark? It seems like it, it wants to, but it just retreats. And then when is it going to break $50 an ounce? When is it going to hit triple digits? That's where silver is supposed to be, right? There's no way that this commodity should be so inexpensive. It is used in industry all over the place. And as we start to open up more and more and try to ramp up um, you know, our economy and production in, in the small areas that we actually have manufacturing in our country, we're going to need silver, especially in, in new technologies. Copper and silver are vitally important, especially with uh, electric vehicles. So why? Why wouldn't silver respond the way we all expect it to? Well, let's find out what Tim thinks. Tim, I got to ask you a question about inflation. Uh, we're seeing it everywhere. We're seeing it in food and lumber and 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 gas. We're seeing it in base metals like copper and in zinc and all that kind of stuff. Why aren't we seeing it in this gold, silver? That's a really good question. But keep in mind that a lot of these cases, lumber, gasoline. There are lots of other excuses that politicians are coming up with why there's so much inflation there. Mm. When the fact is inflation is start, starting to hit everything. And, you know, it's creeping up in some places. If you go to the market and you find, you take something you buy every week, the prices are going up. You know, it's not... And, and the quantities are going down, right? Quantities. Shrinkflation. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, and that's everything. Um, the metals, I still think that silver is being controlled. Mm. Um, gold is, is um, if you have countries in the world like, um, you know, Iran, Japan, India, China, Russia, that buy gold when it dips, okay, they have no vested interest in having it go out of sight. And I think there's um, a distinct lack of interest in gold when it starts going up, intentionally, because the, the people who are accumulating gold, I mean, you're talking huge holdings. And, you know, it's like we said in the beginning, gold is a barter currency between nations. Silver is a barter currency between individuals. Individuals don't have a lot of clout. Uh, especially in the markets. Uh, in Wall Street, it's all hedge funds. And central banks are scooping up gold. They are looking to gold, especially yeah. now that it's a tier one asset in the Basel III. I, I don't think you see any big shorts in gold. It's it's a fool's errand if you're trying to, trying to short gold. Um, on the other hand, uh, silver, um, if it, it's mostly individual interest in silver, there's just no clout. The individual investor has no clout. You can't compete with hundreds of billions of dollars. We're and trying to, to 
and Silver I, Spring you know, is, the, the, is still on, right? The you know, Reddit the, crowd's trying to yeah, do what they can. It's 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 you're you're up against the tide. Seriously, you can't you can't really affect the price. Um, but why why is inflation not hitting precious metals? It, it's going to eventually. It is in the physical market because we're not seeing any of these premiums go the other way. It's just the paper market where that's being controlled. Um, in the physical market, uh, I don't think the prices are gonna retreat at all, unless there's a huge increase in supply, which we haven't seen at all, not in the last year. Um, but keep in mind the 2021 Silver Eagle uh, with the first reverse, it was only made for four months. The second reverse it will be made for nine months. So the minute should be twice as much for the second reverse. And I think those prices will probably be coming down some. Um, the first reverse, I, the price might even go up higher. But that's, you know, the, that's the inflation we're seeing in the silver market is what people actually have to pay for. It. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're short on your reserves, if you're, you know, the ETFs or COMEX or IMEX, whatever, uh, it's in their best interest to keep it low. I still wonder why we see copper sh just shooting up, but not silver. I think that's a function of the mines shutting down mm. in the last year. And it, it takes time to, to, to ramp up a mine, mining operation or even a refinery mm. you know, when you haven't been doing anything for months. So the con conventional theory, conventional thought is to say, well, if we're going to inflate the dollar, take out all the debt you want, get big mortgages, go into debt because the value of that dollar is going to decline. And, you know, that's the logic, right? That philosophy was practiced or put into practice by the Weimar Republic in 1922. <laughs> they were put under unreasonable reparations for the First World War. So they, you know, they thought, well, if we just inflate the currency a little bit, then we'll be able to pay the reparations. It just got out of hand. I mean, way out of hand. So if people think, eh, this is a great time to be a yeah, debtor. Little, little inflation can't hurt. It's just, you know, yeah, but it'll the help mind... us pay our debt. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's it's also deceiving because my prices are so low. It it makes you think that there is no in, inflation in silver. But. <laughs> Your prices are incredibly reasonable. So, <laughs> well, I, I just told you what I paid for those for the eagles. Twenty twenty one eagles. Yeah, yeah. We, we're lucky to make a dollar. Amazing. All right, man. Thanks very much. If you're interested in uh, buying some silver or gold from Tim, check out his information in the description below. He does ship, so if you're interested in purchasing, I mean, you, you depending on where you live, you might have to pay quite a bit in order to get your silver and gold from him, but he is very willing to you know, ship it out to you. Inflation is here, folks, everywhere, and I think we are all going to see it end up in silver and gold very very soon so don't despair don't give up keep stacking if the price drops that's when you need to dollar cost average and buy more silver well i hope you appreciated this video don't forget to like and subscribe right down there hit the bell icon and and if you want to share this video with others too. Get the word out because we want those who we care for to stack and prepare for what's coming. Well, again, thanks for watching and I hope your day is a-okay.